Okay, thanks everyone for your patience. Um, we will start players with uh, Wandale Robinson. We'll try to get to two or three players here before Coach Frost comes at 1240 and um, uh, possibly have one or two after. So, um, Parker Gabriel, question. first question for Wandale. Hey, Wandale. Uh, I'm just curious, obviously you guys have been um, subject to a lot of scheduling changes and all that, not just this past week, but for the past few months. So. What was uh, last week like, and, and how did you think the team overall, you know, handled that and responded to it? Um, I mean, it was a little crazy. We weren't really expecting to have a cancellation, but um, at the end of the day, we just knew that we were still going to at least be able to play games going on for weeks to come. But um, we knew there was a chance that we might end up playing another non-conference opponent, but obviously that didn't end up happening. So we just had to prepare like it was every other game week, and just we got a little head start on Northwestern and got – got back to the fundamentals and just the basics just to help kind of the, some of the young guys and everybody catch up. Then did, so did your schedule get get rearranged sort of then late in the week as you started to get going for, for Northwestern? That was a little, well, um, they, get, they gave us a day off and then we just had practice Friday, Saturday, and then we were off Sunday and then we're back to regular weeks, except we're off tomorrow just for election day. Question from Brian Christofferson, 24-7 Sports. Hey, Wandale, uh, what, what did the wide receivers take from that first game when you kind of look back at your guys' performance and what can you build on there? Um, I mean, we can definitely get better in all areas. Um, just getting a little, just getting open on more routes. Um, obviously, them letting us do a little bit more in the passing game just to get us open a lot more. Um, we know that we can compete and the young guys know that they have to do their things in practice just to get on the field, to compete on the field too. You do you see those young guys who maybe didn't play as much? Do you see them? Uh, do they have an urgency kind of to, to contribute? Oh yeah, definitely. And I've kind of taken upon myself to let them know too. Like, if we, if you if you want to play, you got to show it in practice and show the coaches that they can trust you out on the field by yourself without everybody else, and that you're going to go full speed and do your job. Thank you. Thank you. Omaha World Herald, Sam McEwen. Hey, Wondell, um, you mentioned obviously having tomorrow off for for election day. Uh, how, how do you how do you spend that day? Obviously, you can't uh, vote in person unless you've you've changed your registration uh, to the state of Nebraska. But what do you think about just having that that day to to kind of reflect on? Um, well, all the elections going on and, and voting. Um, I mean, I think it's good. I think it's good for us to have that plat have the opportunity to go out and vote and do those kind of things. Um, I think now it's a lot bigger, a lot more big of a deal to go out and vote and use your voice and do things like that now, especially with everything going on in the world. And that's something that hopefully I hope all of our players go out and do is at least go out and vote at some point. This was your first time, right? Or yeah. Yeah, this will be my first time too, so. Uh, Husker Online, Sean Callahan. Hey, Wandale, I know you guys got a chance to probably watch Northwestern this weekend. Um, just what were your impressions of how they battled back to beat Iowa in that game on Saturday? Um, I mean, it just shows what kind of team they are. Um, they're going to fight, fight till the end, and there's just sound on out just about every phase of the game. They don't really make a lot of mistakes. They don't really want to beat themselves. So at the end of the day, we have to come in and do our jobs and just make plays. Have you been able to watch, like, the entire Big Ten now? I mean, especially having a Saturday off. And, and what have been some of your takes is from watching this conference here through two full weeks? Uh, I mean, definitely there's some teams that are stepping up now that, that we that you probably wouldn't have thought of. Um, Purdue, Northwestern, Northwestern playing much better than people may have thought of. But this just shows that the Big Ten's deep and everybody's talented, so we just have to come out and prepare every week to, like we're playing somebody big. All right, we've got uh, two more for Wandale. Uh, Steve Sipple, Lincoln Journal Star. Hi, Wandale. Last year's game was uh, super close. Um, just kind of following up on Sean's question, is there anything in particular you remember about last year's game and last year's uh, Northwestern defense specifically? Um, I mean, they were stout. Um, they didn't make a lot of mistakes. They weren't really going to let you try to let, let you get them beat deep or anything like that. They, don't, they really try to limit a lot of big plays, but luckily enough last year we were able to come away with a few that helped us win that game. And one quick follow-up, how much uh, running back – are you practice in a typical practice? How many uh, reps at running back are you taking? Um, it varies. It just kind of depends on the game week and the game plan. Um, I mean, just for matchups and things like that. So it can vary from ten to thirty snaps a, a day. I mean, it just really doesn't matter. Like it just it varies. Just never really know. Okay. Thank you.
Last one for Wandale, uh, Mitch Sherman, the athletic. Hey, Wandale. Um, similar to that last question about the game a year ago, um, that game was, I know you've just been a part of one Nebraska Northwestern game, but that game was um, in line with the way a lot of them have gone in this series. I think three straight have come down to the last play. Um, what, um, you know, is there something about the style of play that you saw from them or that you've seen from them and watching film that um, makes those kind of games uh, more common? Um, again, they just don't, they don't let you beat them. Like they won't beat themselves. So they're just going to do what they have to do. They're going to do their jobs and, um, just play football the way that they're taught. So at the end of the day, we can't make mistakes and have penalties and turnovers and things like that to push us behind. So at the end of the day, we have to do our job to make plays. All right. Thank you, Wandale. We'll have DiCaprio Boodle next in just one minute. Thank you.